<laughs> okay, we're recording. We're recording. I know you guys like my pause face. Okay, so today I've got Sandy, Alyssa, and Linda on with me. And these are the gals you talk to on the front end. So if you call, if you've got questions, you're either going to be talking to Sandy, Linda, or Alyssa. And then sometimes Sandy and Linda are going to be helping you throughout the process. So I set an invincible task for them. I said, hey, are call centers really as bad as I hear they are? Can you guys please call three VA big call centers, right? So that's 800 numbers. Mm -hmm. And here was the scenario. It, tell me if I got this wrong. $800,000 loan amount. What did, what did we decide the current interest rate was? 4%. 4%. 4% interest rate. And the goal of the call was you were reaching out to the call center because you wanted to take cash out and do a cash out refinance to pay off a $10,000 credit card bill. You also, you had perfect credit and the house was worth a fortune. We did this scenario because it makes no sense whatsoever. It literally just harms the consumer. There's zero benefit to it. But it's an easy loan for a loan officer to do. So how desperate are the call centers? Okay, who wants to go first? None of you. Great. I'll go first. I'll go first. <laughs> okay. Sandy, always always team spirit jumping in. Also, oh, you guys Sandy. You guys are <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. Give it to Sandy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean Sandy's just doing all the work here. Uh and you guys are all at the same house. I didn't get an invite. I'm offended. I know. Yeah, we, we couldn't have you have you. We can have you. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's hurtful. If anyone's noticing, they're all gonna be playing the baby grand when this is over. Okay. Yeah. So <sighs> Alyssa's Caroline. Okay. So Sandy. <laughs> We can't name the companies that we no. called everybody, but we can give vague descriptions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I called a well-known uh, company that uh, may or may not have the title of a, a service branch in their name. Uh, so first of all, it took me forever to figure out how to get through the call tree. Like I, I, it, I had to get through like three different loops before I figured out how to get to the mortgage department. So what I gave the them questions. My, well, it was like, you know, do you want to call, mm -hmm. you know, do you want to talk to somebody about an existing loan? Do you have a membership? Do you want to talk about a cashier's check? Like none of it was like, I'm a new person who wants to talk about a new mortgage or refinance opportunity. So I had to end up going to the operator who then directed me to the mortgage department. Um, when I talked to them, it was obviously very scripted and they were asking their point blank questions. When I told them I was looking to do a cash out refinance, they asked me how much I wanted to take out. I said 10,000. They laughed at me. <laughs> so I like to the point where I was like, I know I'm giving you this ridiculous scenario, but I'm embarrassed. Like, okay. <laughs> like I so imagine a client doing that. So, so, so was You're it like, like, this is a fake call, JK, don't laugh at me. <laughs> like, like, do you think, do you think they watched the channel and they were like, ah, beast in, I'm getting pranked. Or do you think <gasps> they just Hope had not. a day and they were like, like, what was the laugh? Was it like, oh, don't do that. Or was it like an evil, like, ah, you mm. like it, it, it was like, uh, you idiot, what are you doing? Like, this isn't uh, even like, oh. you shouldn't even be doing this. Because then they did go on to tell me that refinancing didn't make sense. They went through the personal loan options and the HELOC options. But uh, I was like already on defense at that point because you just laughed at me. Like, well, I, yeah, you know, they make you feel less than, right? Well, but wait a second. Wait a second. Did they like, like how, like, are we talking about a <laughs> or like, was it like a, was it a belly laugh? It was a belly like laugh. <laughs> Total belly laugh. It had to have been at least a 10 second laugh. And I was like, okay, this is a little awkward now. It, 10 uh, seconds is a long laugh. Oh, 10 <laughs> seconds is long. Was this a guy? No, or it was a, a girl. girl. Yeah. What? Yeah. Was uh, it me? No. no. <laughs> Alyssa has a side <laughs> job. So, and so, but it, I know what the place you're talking about and it's super scripted. So I didn't realize they had pauses for belly laughs, but must be built into the script. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but look, they didn't try to rip you off. No, they did not try to rip me off. They did send they, me different options. Mm -hmm. They just tried so to they, belittle you. 
Yeah, they broke your self confidence, but totally. they didn't screw you over. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, you know, well, look. They were but... very adamant about making sure that before I could even do anything, I couldn't even complete an application until I have a, I had a membership with them. So that was something that mm. kind of stuck out to me a little bit that they wouldn't even just, I mean, they gave me rates and they, which was interesting. They gave me a rate quote without even asking my credit score. Uh, which Wait, I thought what was, was the rate so was awesome. for the HELOC or for the personal loan or all of them. So they gave Wait, me for a, the mortgage too. Yep. Without even, not even asking what tier, like, do you have good credit? Do you have moderate credit? Do you have terrible credit? They just gave me a rate. So wait a second. Did they quote rates before they laughed at you or after they laughed at you? After they laughed at me. Mm -hmm. So they laughed at you and then they're like, oh, you're so dumb. By the way, (laughs) here's the mortgage rate if you're a moron and here's this and that. Yeah. And they, they didn't even ask like what realm my credit score was in, but, but they kept telling me before you can do anything, you have to complete your membership with us. We can't go any further. You can't even fill out an application until you complete your membership. Did they explain that it was going to be that refinancing just didn't after the laugh that yeah. it just didn't make sense because it would ultimately cost more than what you'd get out? Yeah. Yes, they did do that. They did do that. And they did talk about the cost associated with it, not just the rate increase, but also the clothing costs. Okay. So, you know, we'll take that as a like, you know, thank God. Okay. Who's, who's the next victim? I mean, who's next? I can go next. I'll go. Okay, you go. Oh, now it's a war. Can we do? Can we do Rochambeau? You go ahead. Do rock, paper? Let's do a rock, paper, scissors. Okay. 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 Wait. Okay, ah. we'll, we'll, we'll time it out. We'll time it out. <laughs> you guys are three, not very good at this. Two. Okay. One. One. Two. Three. I can't. Okay. Okay. Uh, Linda win. Win. Okay. Linda's going. All right. So I, I think- called. I called a very big uh, call center. Very well known. The biggest. The biggest. It's the biggest. Okay. And it like goes um, to Mars, right? Yes. Rockets to Mars. <laughs> exactly. Okay, yeah. Got it. Um, and then, um, well, I did like, I Googled the phone number. And when I called the number, somebody picked, oh, I hit some like prompts and then somebody picked up and it was a loan officer, I think. I'm pretty sure it was a loan officer. So the first call I made, um, she, it was, a, it was a girl. She was super scripted, very nice, friendly. And um, she, and I told her my scenario. She didn't flinch. She goes, okay. And, and then she goes, well, we have three different options for you and each has its own benefits. Um, And so then she proceeded with them and she said, a refinance is great because it's tax deductible. That's wait, what? How's it? How's it? (laughs) Okay. I'm sorry. Uh... She goes, "Um, you can refinance. And the benefit of that is that it's tax deductible. Um, Then she said the second one, and then she said the HELOC me, but, yeah, the cash out refinance would be great because it's tax. I took notes. Tax deductible. The equity loan would be great because you get to keep your first mortgage rate. Right? And then and then she um, sold a personal loan. And she goes, but in order for me to figure out which one works for you, you have to take an application. And I said, okay, you know, all right. So that she didn't really say it didn't make sense. She just, that's, she gave me, the, she goes, but you have to fill out an application or you can call me directly and I could take, you know, really nice and all that. So I'm like, okay, I'll give you a call back. Took her name, number, whatever. Then I'm like, yo, let me call again. <laughs> let me talk to somebody else. So, <laughs> I think you're, I was like, this before, you're like, this is before, fun. Yeah, but huh? before we do that, let me just make one mm-hmm. note. Um, refinances are not tax deductible. Uh, talk to your tax advisor. Like there's something you can do with discount points over time. But like, mm-hmm. I've ne- have you, I've never been able to write off a refinance. Have you guys? No. No. no, no. Yeah. Right. She didn't get into so, it. All she said was it's tax deductible. That's the so, benefit. And I was like, okay. I, sh- I guess so I should have elaborated. How to well, elaborate. uh, look, it's probably part of the script, but like yeah. maybe the script hasn't been updated, but it, it, you know, it's just something good for people who are watching to know, like if a lender is giving you tax advice, yeah. uh, it, just like you need to see a tax professional. I'm saying, Hey, mm-hmm. I don't think it's deductible. I've never been able to do it, but talk to a tax professional, never trust blindly. Okay. So Linda, so she didn't say yes or no. She didn't laugh at you. 
No, she didn't laugh. She's very scripted. Like, it was like, okay, so now we have three options for you. First option that is a cash out refinance. That is, the benefit of that is it's tax deductible. And I was thinking maybe she was thinking of the interest, but I didn't know. Okay, then, then she went on to go with the other two that, that she would need me to apply in order to figure out where to place me. Did she talk to you about rates or fees? No. Okay. No rates or she fees. Didn't, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you called back because you were like, I'm, I'm doubling down. <laughs> yeah. So I waited 15 minutes and then I called back <laughs> and then I, I talked to a, a, a guy, which I thought, Oh yeah, he's going to sell me. And then he was super nice. And he goes, well, Linda, it doesn't seem like it would make sense for you with that high of a loan amount. To okay. do it. Now. Yeah. He, and he goes, he didn't try to take a nap. He goes, it's just, and he kind of, he did give me rates. He gave me, he goes, cause that rate's going to be, I think he, blah, 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 whatever, higher. And then he said, um, he said, I think the best bet for you would be just to go through a personal loan because with that kind of loan amount, you would be, you would be not doing yourself any good. And I was like, okay, right. well, that was nice. Yeah. Well, look, it's a good <laughs> illustration of it's not mm-hmm. about the company. It's about the loan yes. officer, mm-hmm, right? Exactly. Cause yes. the same company, same reviews for the company. You had one person that just went hardcore script. And then you yeah. had another person that gave you some really good advice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So exactly. Okay. Um, have any of them called you back or did you use a fake phone? Number? <laughs> um, I gave an email address and I didn't get any emails. That's shocking. Uh, uh, Sandy, did, do they have any of your information? No, they took none of my information. You know, actually though, when you call in, they have your phone number. So I blocked mine. Okay, I blocked mine <laughs> when I called, but they still knew my number. So I was like, wait. Okay, Did you do Star uh, okay. 7? <laughs> so, Alyssa, yeah. let's, oh. Alyssa, uh-huh. Alyssa, you're up. Give us some broad descriptors of who you called. So, I called a huge um, veteran company. Like, the first one you Google, they come up right away. Yep. Um, yep. So, that's the one I Arch called. Nemesis. Okay. Yeah, they spend a lot of money marketing. So, so much money on marketing. Uh, I had the same experience with Sandy in the beginning. I didn't know what button to press. There was just a million different round robin options. Um, an operator answered. She was trying to get my whole entire identity. And I was like, I'm <laughs> just calling around, shopping. For quotes, like I'm calling a couple of companies. I've been okay. getting my credit score. Hold on, then, like whole identity. Like, which is she getting your name and your she phone wants number? My address. She wanted Yeah, she she wanted mm-hmm. she wanted my address, my email, my phone number. You just like filling out a form, and I'm like, I just want to see what your current rate is on a cash out refinance. I don't want, you know, I don't want to get into all this. And then so then she transferred me to somebody else. Um, that was like four and a half minute wait. And then they was got on the music? phone. There was music. So that was pleasant. How was it? Uh, it was classical jazz, I believe. Uh, <laughs> okay. Look, it's the details that matter, right? Like, cause I think guaranteed rate, if you call our call center, it's like advertisements. I'm not sure. So that's, that's yeah. good. Okay. So they got to listen to some jazz for four minutes. Um, and then they couldn't, yeah. They, and the person who picked up, said that nobody was available and to call back on Monday. That was Friday. So I was like, Wait, what? okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, look, in fairness, like we don't generally work weekends, but I thought that no, it was Friday. It was were... Friday afternoon. No, I know. Oh, okay. So no one's there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did, did, did a question, did anybody ask what state you were in? Yes. Sandy, yeah, I think I volunteered the information. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So that was Friday. So then I was like, all right, um, call back Monday. So I called back Monday. Um, same thing. Had to talk to somebody else. They wait on hold, more jazz music, got to talk to somebody. So, so to uh, clarify, they didn't call you back. You had to call them back on Monday. No. Yeah. He didn't even want. Yeah. Okay. The guy I finally got connected to Friday didn't ask for anything. He just said, call back Monday. So um, yeah, I called back. And I gave him all the details and he told me uh, the same thing that 
the guy Linda spoke to, I should probably do a HELOC because the refinance is going to cost $10,000 and that's how much I need to get out. And what did I he said, say his <laughs> fees were? Well, and I said, $10,000, $10, how do you know? Like, he didn't even give me a rate at that point. Didn't ask anything. He's like, yeah, a refinance is going to cost $10,000. So I would just do a HELOC. And I said, well, when I purchased my home, I don't even recall like $10,000 of these lender fees or what are they? Um, you know, because I was I'm a veteran. And um, he said, yeah, his fees capped out at $3,500 for his lender fees. And mm -hmm. I said, oh, well, that's weird because the company that I purchased my home with didn't charge me anything. And he's just like, oh, yeah, well, every company's different. And then, you know, okay. which they but are. He didn't, so that, he didn't try to hustle you into a, a a cash out refinance, right? Nope. Mm -mm, he pitched he a HELOC, which is interesting. So uh, look, that company is the only one that doesn't have a personal loan option. Um, yeah, no, okay. well, they don't do HELOCs either. They don't? No. Mm -mm. Okay. So he said, okay. yeah, I would do a HELOC, but we don't do them. So that's and the then luck. How, th how did the call end? I just said, oh, okay, I guess I'll find a company who does HELOC. <laughs> and then he said, okay, bye. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, look, there's pot and then uh, uh, there's positive stuff, which is no one tried to rip you guys off. No one tried to scam us. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 uh, look, the, the worst part is, is when we had this call, we, we planned this call and I said, I think myself, Sandy and Alyssa were like, they're going to rip them all off. And oh, Linda yeah. Like, no, they're not. No, they're not. Because Linda, <laughs> 100 years ago, worked in a call center. She's like, no, Jen, they're not all evil. I promise. And we're like, I literally was thinking Linda's going to have to learn like we did. Because we said, well, has to I called twice. They ripped off. Yeah. Linda's like, I know they must be evil somewhere. Jen Zane is, but I know they're good. She's like, I, I, doubling down. And then Alyssa, I don't, did you have time to call the other one that I had texted you or no? Probably not. No, I didn't call the other okay. one. Okay. Well, that's like, I think we learned something valuable today, which is, um, <laughs> Sandy, <laughs> Sandy, last time we did this, I don't remember who you called. But they never called you back. You got no. ghosted. Well, no yeah. one calls back. No one called or emailed me. Yeah, still, yeah. still ghosted <laughs> from you know four months ago. People laugh yeah, at they, me. Linda, they they on that call, Sandy. <laughs> they had promised to call Sandy back. Like it yeah. was like a pledge. <laughs> so you got ghosted the first time, and this time you just got straight up belly laughed at. Yeah, <laughs> it's going well for me. <laughs> I, I think we're going to have to do this again, but okay. So guys, what were your impressions of this? What did any thoughts, feelings, prayers? Well, I remember I, think I was texting you and I was like, I am so irritated right now. This is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll call you when I get off. Like it was so irritating just calling and not being able, like, it was one of those like, representative you know like, I just want to talk to somebody <laughs> yeah that sounds like that's yeah. what happened to you <laughs> it's an it's an appointment setter Alyssa it's an appointment setter so uh, yeah so you really enjoyed that um okay so look I think overall it's I think this is good I think this gives us hope for call centers you know if you're going to go the call center route you better know that phone tree right yeah. totally and it's going to depend on yeah well, like it depends on the loan officer, right? <laughs> yeah, like everyone true. should be looking up loan officer reviews because, you know, there's a huge discrepancy and mm -hmm. it sounds like Sandy and Linda, both of yours were super scripted. Alyssa, it doesn't sound like your guy was scripted after you got past the appointment setter. No, no, he, he wasn't. So I, I think that's good. We'll have to do another one of these. Um, we'll have to think of the scenario. Maybe people will uh, give us some ideas, but look for everyone who is watching. Th this is who you're talking to. Every time you call in, every time you book an appointment on the calendar, it's going to be Sandy, Alyssa, or Linda. We're all here to help you guys as much as possible, answer questions, help you plan to buy a house, and most importantly, we have no scripts. Um, we don't laugh at you unless you're telling good jokes, and that's on you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you guys for having a party at a house without me. Yes, um, next time I'll you. Yeah. <laughs> so go enjoy we'll mimosas. Yeah. Same, send pictures of your party. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.